can't remember much before all this started. Sometimes I feel like this has been my whole life. Running. Killing. So how great is it being back? for this installment. It was amazing, you know, to get to travel to Cape Town, South Africa, which is this incredibly beautiful city, to get to go to Johannesburg, um, mm -hmm. to get into the fight training, you know, the gun training, really kind of like, you know, get my, you know, tough girl back on. Um, it's really fun. And then this being the final chapter, do you kind of step into this role with a little bit more pressure to kind of deliver for the fans? I didn't feel pressure from this because this is like Paul and Mila's world, mm -hmm. right? Like they write these together and then he has this vision in his head. And so for me, I get the script and I'm really there to deliver what he wants. And you know, we could be shooting an eighth of a page and it could take a week and a half mm -hmm. or a page and a half and then you're done in a couple hours. You never know how he's gonna see things and how he's gonna want things to play out. My name is Alice and this is my story. The end of my story. Ten years ago in Raccoon City, there was an outbreak. It spread across the world within days. One way or another, our world is coming to an end. The question is, will we end with it? Alice, Alice, Alice. Umbrella developed an airborne antivirus. It would destroy the T-Virus. I have no reason to believe a word you say. True, but I can offer you something you want very much. What is that? Revenge. And then this time around, did you approach your character a little bit differently? Because we kind of get to know a little bit more about, there's a bit better story arc, a bigger yes, story arc. Th yes, there's yeah. definitely a story yeah. arc there. Yeah. And one of the things that I liked is that, you know, she has been going nonstop, you know, and she hasn't been able, she's separated from her brother and she's found this group of survivors and they've created this utopia, this world where they're making wheat and maybe they've found a way where mankind can survive, you know? So, so there's a place where you can feel a little bit of hope. All of a sudden, of course, you know, can't have hope in the world of Resident <laughs> Evil and it comes back to, to bite her. And then what I love about these films is like the fast action, you know, pace, the, the way that you get that shot. Yeah. I mean, stepping back into it, was it kind of a little bit of like, ooh, this this kind of hurts this time around, you know? Um, uh, you know what? I love getting back into these things. You know, um, I love the physicality of it. I love pushing my body to the limits. I mean, we were running through the night. I chipped my tooth and I was bruised and ear infections and, you know, all that. But you keep on going because when you're filming, it's on. And especially with a movie like this, it kind of plays into it. I have to get to the hive. When we go together. What are we gonna do? We're gonna kill every last one of them. Grab some gear. This is what I do. And then, you know, being back with Mila, I mean, this is a female driven action yeah. series. That's, That's basically right. what it is. I mean, how is it, you know, shooting with her because you guys have a pretty cool action duo yeah. sequence. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's amazing. She is extraordinary at her stunts. She's absolutely incredible. And she looks like a, like a ballerina when she does them. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for me, it's just been in awe to be able to watch her do it. And I'm always just asking for tips. I just think she's incredibly talented. I mean, and this is titled Resident Evil, the final chapter, but right. is it really the final chapter? I, I think it is. I think they is tied it? up the story ends and I think it's time to go out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> okay, and then, you know, working with Paul, you know, like you said, this is Paul's baby, he's dead. He's done them all. I mean, yeah. how was it, was it bittersweet kind of towards the end, because this is a little bit of a family. There, there was definitely know? some tears shed, you know, I mean, I didn't go into this approaching it as the end, because we were like, we were down there. I mean, it was a really challenging shoot, and so we were in it, and at the end, you know, I felt sad. We were definitely, you know, drinking some champagne, and, and you know, but, you know, hopefully that we'll see each other again, and, you know, there'll be times where we'll all reconnect. We played a long game, you and I, but now it's over.